Okay. So there's a really bad thunderstorm uh, happening in the east coast of Australia right now. Like, it's a super salt thunderstorm. So today I, I decided that I was going to make a video about what La Nina and El Nino is. So let's start with La Nina first. So La Nina is when, like, there is a lot of thunderstorms, tornadoes, hurricanes or cyclones or typhoons, and floods. So how does La Nina work? So in, in oceans, in the Pacific Ocean, there's hot and cold water. So the hot water is on the surface, like hot rises up and cold goes down. So the hot water is at the top or the cold water is at the bottom. And in the Pacific Ocean, there is, um, a, you know, a, a very shallow current. So the shallow current makes, makes all the hot water go towards the coast. And, and it pushes all the cold water up to where the hot water was originally. So, so that means there are two sides. There's a cold water side and a hot water side. So this is what it kind of looks like from above with the hot water and the cold water. This is like from the surface. So the hot water evaporates like way more easily. So it turns into clouds. And what happens to these clouds is that when the water droplets become big, like when they become big, like they re-evaporate. So it, it means like it starts big, it starts like growing taller and taller. And then it and then it turns into a cumulonimbus cloud, which is this cloud here. So like a cum a cumulonimbus cloud is also a storm cloud, by the way, so yeah. And the storm cloud causes rain, lightning, thunder and tornadoes. Oh yeah, by the way, sometimes, um, sometimes, like, in, like, okay, so during the peak La Nina time, this will happen, but, like, sometimes it doesn't happen, so, it just turns into regular rain clouds. And sometimes with super self thunderstorms, uh, the, the intense rain causes flooding, so, um, on the other hand, El Nino causes droughts. I mean, it doesn't like 100% cause droughts. Sometimes it can cause bushfires and stuff, but like it doesn't 100% uh, uh, mean that it will become, there will be a drought or like a bushfire. Like sometimes it can rain during El Nino as well. So, yeah. So because of the hot water moved away, now the cold water is on the surface of the water, which means that it also get uh it also gets like moved by the um current. Which means that it doesn't rain that easily, which means that it can cause a drought because it gets really dry. And uh and like it can also cause bushfires. So here from above, this is what it looks like. So basically, yeah. So you can see the La Nina, like El Nino comes right after La Nina. And, and after El Nino comes La Nina. And it just keeps going around in a cycle, kind of. So yeah. So that's what Lenina and El Nino are.